I am Catelyn Martin. I'm married to Jason Martin. My grandparents on my um, mom's side um, were lifelongers. Um, and then my parents started going here. They've been here long. They, I don't know. They got married in the church here and such like that. So, and then um, I've been here all my life too. So, I'm Ron Sletto. This is my wife Annette, and we're from basically the Brandon area. And have a business in Alexandria. And my wife works with me and tells me what to do. I suppose. And, yeah. <laughs> you know, Westmo is a good old church where they everybody steps up and does their thing. And, you come here and you see all your friends and neighbors and stuff and you know everybody pretty much and, and if somebody's missing on sunday kind of like we call and say are you okay you know it's, it's just kind of a comical thing but. it's family i mean we we love each other like family we don't have the fancy stuff but we we feel christ our pastor that we had at i'd say two years ago or so decided uh, that she was going to move on um, so we were in need for another pastor. Westmo wasn't probably going to be able to start a call all by ourselves. We are looking for a pastor and I think we had to be 100 members or something and X number of dollars that we'd have to pay him and we just probably couldn't meet that. It's, it's tough for like, even like a small business to make it nowadays. It's the same thing with a church. There's not many little churches left like this. And that's a shame because there's history. We got in touch um, with you guys, and then it worked out just going from there. And it took a little while. Uh, I told myself in the beginning that I'm going to keep an open mind. A lot of it to do with um, technology, um, different ways of going. At, well, at the time, we didn't know we were going to be in a pandemic, so we're going to be doing all the stuff online. Um, but Musics, uh, there was so much more that a bigger church than what we had um, bring to our table. Well, with the Calvary, you guys do like the Daily Dose and all of those things are available whenever you have time to just sit down and watch it. So I think that's a really good option for everybody. And even if you're not directly in the area, like I know there's people from our congregation who moved to Florida that they can still see what's going on in the church and such. The kids, um, there's a lot more uh, things for them too, to uh, the bigger church also and stuff like that. So we thought that was going to be more appealing for our kids to be more involved um, and like it. I think bringing new ideas to church, you know, rather than being stale. Um, even with like the vacation Bible school that we did, it was good to have other people's input and like see what they could offer. Well, I just think it is what we need to do. It, it gives old people, and I never understood it before, such hope in the future. When you see people, when you see parents bringing their children, it's just like, wow. If we've ever needed a church, now is the time. I don't think without you guys, we could have handled the online stuff as very good. I mean, we started doing some of it, but it was very stressful on a couple members, I think, on our end of it and stuff. and on your end to help us and kind of guide us and then you have the people that do it the right way um, really helped out I think. We, we can't do it on our own. We know that. The theory is you surround yourself with good people. It's something in the back of their mind they want to try. I would say definitely have to give it a whirl. You have to be open. We really appreciate you. We really do.